Hi everybody, so thank you so much for watching. I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you my Lush perfume collection. So that will include all of my solid perfumes from the kitchen, all of the solid perfumes that I bought from the store, and liquid perfumes from the store, and liquid perfumes from the kitchen. So let's just get into it. But first I thought I'd show you the container that I keep them in, or at least most of them in. The kitchen spray perfumes I keep separately in their boxes still, but here, let me just show you this. This is just a simple plastic container. I got this at five below for five bucks and it's pretty awesome. So I just keep my fortune cookie oils on the bottom. I keep my Lush solids and two of the regular sprays in here. And then the, like I mentioned before, just the spray kitchen bottle separate. So here we go. Let's show you the collection. And I have it all laid out here. So I'm just gonna start grabbing at things, all right? So this is the Grass Solid Perfume, and they have grass in a shower gel in the kitchen, and I think they also have this in a bubble bar, and I know they had it in a solid shampoo bar because I have a couple of those, which is awesome. And this is awesome. This smells like fresh cut grass. It has like a soft, grounding, earthy scent, so it's really, really wonderful. If you ever get a chance to try this and you like herbally, earthy type scents, like Tramp, if you're a Tramp lover like me, <laughs> then you'll like this. Even if you don't like Tramp, this is a little bit softer scented than that. So um, if you are interested in trying something, but you're not sure how you'd like, like a green earthy scent, this is a good one to go for as your first like earthy green type scent is go for grass because it is just a soft earthy type scent. So with fresh cut grass, but anyway, so there's that one. And then the next one I'm going to talk a little bit about is Taka Taka. Now this was in the kitchen. This is also a solid per, no, a solid massage bar. This is also in a liquid perfume. And this is also similar to the scent of Don't Rain on My Parade. Now I did make a previous video mentioning on how I don't like Don't Rain on My Parade. And that opinion has not changed. I still don't like that shower gel there's just something off about it but I think the thing is is that it's trying to smell like this it is trying to smell like tucka tucka now there are probably going to be people out there that are going to say that that and this smell exactly the same or were meant to smell exactly the same but my nose might just be different or something or I might be crazy but the shower gel just has this missing note to it just there's something off or missing for me that doesn't smell as good as this does now this is what i imagine a sweet violet is supposed to smell like this taka taka scent is just a gorgeous sweet violet floral scent um just just wonderful just overall very very beautiful scent and i will get this in the spray bottle a version of this if it ever comes out in the kitchen again but don't rain on my parade just doesn't smell the same to me. It just doesn't. Um, I still don't like that. And and the other thing too to mention is, is that I still believe in this firmly. And it's just my personal opinion. But for me, even though two products are meant to smell the same, from product to product, the scent consistency is going to be different. Um, like from shower gels to shower jellies. Like, perfect example rose jam shower gel rose jam shower gel is good in the bottle but in the jelly format it smells so much stronger very very strong in fragrance so that's a good example so you know they can still smell similar but one version of one product can smell just way stronger than the other or just better in quality and, and just scent difference i guess i don't know how to explain that but you get what i'm trying to say for me, my nose is just weird. They don't smell the same, and this is just so much better scented, and I still stand firmly to that, so there we go. And then the next one that I'm going to talk about is 29 High Street. Now, this is in a shower gel, and I think you can get this all year round at the actual 29 High Street store in England, and if I'm right, and this just smells exactly like a Lush shop would smell like. Um, if you ever get a chance to get your hands on this, do it because this scent is just awesome. They had this in a wash card over Valentine's Day, which was smelling so it smelled so good. 
And I have this also in the shower gel format too, and it just is, smells exactly like you'd imagine a lash shop to smell like. It pulls all of the most popular scent ingredients from a lot of staple products and just combines them into one and it smells exactly like a Lush shop. So just a great overall Lush fan scent. So if you, if you ever get a chance to get that one, get that one, it's just awesome. Okay, the next one I'm going to talk about is Flying Fox. Now this is very heavy in jasmine, more heavy in jasmine than the Lust scent. Um, the Lust compared to Flying Fox smells a little bit slightly of a sweeter jasmine to me, but again, my nose is different. These might just smell exactly the same and, and whatever. But to me, this smells more strongly heavy in jasmine. And uh, the last I saw this, they had have, they have this in a shower gel, and also they had it in a liquid bubble bath, which I should have gotten because that just would have been awesome. But yeah, so this is awesome. It's a very heavy, heavy jasmine scent um, and not as sweet as the Lust in my opinion. So keep moving on. Let's see what we got here. Bright side. Now this is meant to smell like the bubble bar in stores, which you can get all year round. This is great. This is just a sweet, citrusy, uplifting scent. So I love Bright Side and I love the bubble bar for this. So this is great. Next one that I have here is the Go Green Salad Perfume, and Go Green smells very much like lemongrass. It does have a little bit of an earthy, herbally backtone to it, but it smells, to me, more like lemongrass. It's just wonderful. This is a good, uplifting lemongrass scent, so if you like the scent of that, definitely go for Go Green. I think they have that in a bubble bar, too. So yeah, there's that one. And then the next one I'm so sad about is Yuzu and Coco. This scent is being discontinued. They are doing away with the shower cream scent of this and doing away with the bubble room by the end of this year. And I'm hoping that fans fight really, really hard to keep this because I absolutely love this shower cream. It's so wonderful. And if I have this in the kitchen again as a spray perfume, I'm definitely gonna get it. This is such a citrusy chocolatey type scent it's just awesome it smells like a chocolate orange just gorgeous um da -da -ba -ba. next one sex bomb this smells like the shower jelly and the bath bomb and it's just awesome it's just this great floral sexy type scent it's very sexy as hence the name sex bomb so this is wonderful one to get if you are a fan of the shower jelly and the um, bath bomb. So if you're a fan of that, definitely get one of these. That's great. I wish they'd make a spray version of that. That would just be gorgeous. But anyway, next one I have here is Rose Jam. And Rose Jam is a great scent. You can get this all year round in the Rose Argan Body Conditioner, in the Pro Massage Bar, and the Rose Jam Bubble Room. So you can get that all year round in those scented products. And then at Christmas, they come out with the Shower Gel, which I'm so excited about. And I did get from the kitchen one of these solid Rose Argan body conditioners, so I'm so excited to try that. It's just awesome. It smells like a sweet rose jammy scent. To me, it smells like more jam than rose, but you do get that lovely sweet floral scent. It's just, just awesome. Love this one here. And let's move on to the regular solid perfumes, which you can get at any of the Lush shops. I think only two of these are being discontinued, but I'm not entirely sure, or maybe three, but, but let's see. Anyways, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is Karma. Karma, they are definitely keeping oh, forever, I think. This is definitely a Lush staple scent. Karma is very heavy in patchouli and is citrusy. It smells like oranges and patchouli, just basically that's what it is, and it's awesome. To me, it's just like a such, like it's an uplifting, kind of like hippie type smelling scent. It's just really gorgeous. I love this Karma scent. It's just wonderful. And now the next one I want to talk about is Death of the K. I think this is going to be discontinued. I'm not entirely sure, either in the UK or US, but I love this. I'm definitely going to have to get this in a liquid version. This is just a, such a soft, fresh white cut flowers. If you can imagine any white cut flowers, like baby's breath or... Um, lilies or whatever white flowers that there are this smells like fresh white cut flowers to me and it's just wonderful and I love the name and, and the little bouquet of flowers on the front it's just one just gorgeous and then the next one that I have going on floral scents we'll talk about this one this is Imogen Rose and I love the packaging for this you can see it's very shiny almost metallic looking and it has this like tattoo style design of a rose with Imogen Rose on the top with the words Imogen Rose on it. 
and this is just a wonderful floral scent. It does have a little bit of sweetness to it too, but not as sweet as rose jam. This is just a gorgeous rose scent. Absolutely love this one. And then the last one that I have here for the regular ones is Smuggler's Soul. Now I think this is going to be discontinued too. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not sure either in the UK, in the UK or the US. And this has a wonderful sandalwood scent. And um, yeah, to me, I've mentioned this before, but the solid version of this is a very unisex scent in my opinion. It has just this soft sandalwood scent. And the spray version of this is a little bit stronger in scent. So it does smell to me more masculine, the spray version of this. But the solid version has that just gorgeous soft sandalwood scent, which I think would work well as a unisex scent. And I love that little picture of the guy with his fist up in the air. Smell guy still is awesome. So if you ever get a chance to smell this, do. It is wonderful. And then the two regular sprays that I have from the regular ones, uh, regular collection, I guess, whatever you want to call it, is the Lust Perfume. And this is gorgeous. This is just a soft, sweet jasmine scent. Very, very strong in jasmine, but not, as I mentioned, as strong as Flying Fox. But this is just wonderful. Love, love that one. And then this is Image and Rose. I do have that in the solid as well, uh, as I showed before. And this one is gorgeous in the spray version as well. Just, just wonderful overall. Love that scent. So I got two of those. And then last but not least is these kitchen spray perfumes. Kitchen spray perfumes, Blech. which I mentioned, uh, which I did an unboxing for in a previous video. And let's just glaze over these really quick. I have what would love to, which is a wonderful orange lavender scent. It is just. You don't think those two scents will go together, but they're just so well combined. It just ugh, blows my mind how good that smells. And then the next one I have here is the Rentless, which is just a sweet scent. Ugh, just a sweet, smoky, warm scent. It's just great. Um, so yeah, I can't say enough about that one. And then the last one I have here is Emily, or Emily May, however you want to say it. And this is gorgeous. It's just a sweet, girly, floral scent just wonderful and uh, yeah so those are all the kitchen perfumes that I have and did you notice that on the website right now they have wash cards in these scents of perfumes and other regular perfumes so if you get a chance get some I'm getting a couple I can't wait to try them out so they do have wash card scents in the perfumes how cool is that but anyway those are all my perfumes from Lush thank you so much for watching I'm so sorry this video was long but um, yeah, I'll see you again in another video, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!